I waited my whole life for this. I may never make it to WrestleMania. I never want to make it to Starcade. But I made it in the ECW arena. And from the bottom of my heart, to all my fans that are here in other companies, I'm up in the heaven, and all you fans, thank you very much. Hello, welcome once again to the Lost Art of Podcasting. I'm your host, Cox the Legend, joined as always by... Me, it's Gareth. And you're 39 from Blackpool. Uh, I've changed my age now. <laughs> I'm not that age anymore. I'm going to be 21 from the next birthday. I'm going to 21 again. again. No, you won't be 20 again then. Yeah, so I'm 20 now, and then I'll be 21. Maybe. You're 19 now. No. Yeah. I'm there. You're 19 now. Next no. one, yeah, next one you're 20. Okay, well stick with that then, yeah. 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 Then Maths. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You'll be thanking me later. Yeah, I thank you. <laughs> but you probably won't be asking because of the, the the crazy gringo I've got stand, sat in front of you. Yeah, the crazy bastard stuff. Yeah, which we'll yeah. be trying later. I can't wait. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. I'm just going to let the bottle just turn slightly so it's making you more paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you bought some milk for it as well. Yeah, for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to use the milk. I'm going to be brave. you need to be brave. Do water then. No. A lager. I've got some water over here, but I'm going to try yeah. and not have to use it. <laughs> have a Guinness instead, see if Guinness works. Oh, that'd be good. No. <laughs> you can't mix both. You could. You could try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to then, Gareth? Uh, working. Oh, finished watching The Ranch as well uh, last night. Oh, on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Any good? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Really good. Yeah. That's right. Ten, ten episodes. It's yeah. really good. Well, one part, ten yeah. episodes. Yeah, there's supposed to be a part two coming out maybe soon. I don't know when. Possibly Hopefully. next year, maybe. Mm, I don't want to wait that long. No, I have to wait for something better called Soul Part 3, well, season three. Yeah, that's going to take ages. Yeah. I got asked the other day by my brother, he said, when's it on next again? I said, well, it's not November. should have just said it's cancelled. <laughs> just be away from it. <laughs> he would have been straight on Google and just... Um, you lied. Yeah. I was like, I can't find it about it being cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we got uh, Ash vs Evil Dead two yeah. in September. We're looking forward to that. So. Yeah. I'm now joined by Sheldon the Wonder Dog. Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Say hello. No man sniffing me. You've done this now every every time for the past four weeks. You apparently don't want to be friends, so it's odd you. Yeah. Should be nice, Sheldon. <laughs> He's not that bad. So yeah, what else are we covering on this week? Oh, the, no, what's that, what's that of a TV show? There's something else we get late into Soul. It's not actually Soul, but something else. Um, no, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. It'll come back to us, I'm I sure. I guess we're going to that then. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. That would have been face. bad. I think you should swig the bottle. Oh, I've had one spoonful on food already. Yeah. And I was in, still in pain an hour later. We've got some stuff to cover. A lot of stuff, as you can probably see from yeah. my notes that aren't really notes. Big list there. Um, so we're going to start off with... I don't want to start with the hot sauce challenge right away. Yeah. Because that is pretty stupid. I think we'll save that one. <laughs> I think we'll save that one. We'll save that to the end. Yeah. In fact, on a positive note, we hit 400 play, over 400 plays yesterday. That's awesome. That's really good. It is. So thank you all yeah. for listening so far. Thank you. Not yes. only that, well, I think tonight we hit 431 because episode 4 went live. Cool. Zombies, monsters and lottery wins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun episode. Check it, check it out on Spreaker and YouTube. Um, and we've also hit a worldwide audience. Yes. We've had listeners in here, in England. We've had listeners in America. We've had listeners in France. Wow. And also Japan, of all places. Yeah. Don't know why. It's <laughs> weird. Mm. Something like point, less than 0.1% or something, but yeah. that's still better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Considering I thought this would be a massive failure. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> it's doing well, though. I'm really it pleased. Is. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks for listening. And then hopefully by the time we hit 1,000 listeners, or 2,000 listeners at some point, we'll That'd be, good. be able to do something special. Yeah. Like a live show, maybe. Maybe, possibly. We'll do it. We'll do a Sheldon special. It'll be Sheldon for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But on, on that note, I think in a, in a year is well, I, I, I did the um, noticing the bottle in front of me with the crazy bastard sauce. I picked it up from the uh, Blackpool Chili Fast, which was this past yeah. weekend on St George's Day. I can't believe I forgot about that. I saw it advertised, but never saw the date. No. I I knew about it, and but then I forgot till someone texted me saying it was on that day. Mm, that um, it was good. Yes. I mean, it was all right. It was, there was a few stalls. It was quite small for what it is. There's a few stalls there and that selling different, all like home produced chili chili sauces and oils and mm. all that sort of thing. Um, I picked up that one myself and the Grim Reaper habanero sauce from Grim Reaper Foods, um, which you can find on Facebook. Yeah. Was it good? Which one do you prefer? Um, the Crazy Bastards. The guy said to me, the Crazy Bastard isn't as hot as the, the Grim Reaper one. Because this one's Habanero and Tomatillo, whatever that is. Mm, I don't actually know that one. Mm. But, I think trying both, I think possibly the Crazy Bastard is just slightly not as hot, but maybe... Yeah, possibly, I need to try them both again. I tried them both in a short span of each other. So it was sort of a, yeah. I needed to get like a sort of like a palate cleanse, really. Maybe we could like try the other one in the next podcast. I think next that's, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. But um, upon talking with uh, Paul over at the wrestle box, it sounds like there's a, a challenge ahead What's the challenge for next then? year. Um, well, I've, I've called out. I've already called out wrestle box and Moots TV on this, but there was a source I saw at the festival. I've seen other people do it, but it's called the Ten Minute Burn Sauce. Yeah. So I like, I like the sound of it. <laughs> I, I don't, but I want to try it. Yeah, I want to try it as well. <laughs> Apparently, it's made people hallucinate. Awesome. <laughs> so it's. I think there should be a, a, a freeway challenge. Sounds good. Mooch versus Lost versus Wrestle. Who will win? I don't know, but I don't think I'd last a full ten minutes. So I think we'll have to do it like whoever can go the longest. Yeah. And then lose a bite of milkshakes at West Coast Chop Cafe. I think I'd go for 10 minutes. I think I can do it. I don't think I could. Mm. I'll try it, but I'm going to have like a four pint of milk on standby. Oh, you wimp. <laughs> oh, screw you. <laughs> oh, well, let's do it then. Let's let's go for yeah? it. Yeah? Yeah. So, if you're listening, Nooks TV and WrestleBox, there's your challenge. We'll see you at Chili Fest next year, hopefully. Yeah. So... Bring your bring your money for milkshake because <laughs> we we may need them afterwards. So. I think you'll be buying them. I don't. I think it's, it has to be the, the whatever team loses. Yeah. If whatever team drops out first, don't let me down. So I shouldn't. I shouldn't do. It. I'll, just cut, I'll cut my mouth in wax before like Homer on yeah. Simpsons yeah. did. I'll knock it. I'll knock it. No problem. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. I'll have to work my way up to them. Different sources. Yeah. Actually, you could train yourself from now until then. then I'll start with I'll start with ketchup. Yeah. And I'll just like gradually move on like brown sauce, what's that, what's that? and then Frank's. Yeah. And mustard. I'll like yeah, I'll m- mustard then Frank's and then whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I thought like a Rocky montage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think mean, that could be something from which TV. You know. Because even Rocky had a montage. Yeah, yeah, they do actually. <laughs> Great montage as well. Just having their sweating. <laughs> Wondering for a chili field or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, but on that note, well, moving away from heat, as you probably heard me mention, I mentioned the West Coast Chop Cafe. Not West Coast Rock Cafe, West Coast Chop Cafe. Which is a new. They're getting a free plug here as well. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Though I did so, I did get a milkshake from them yeah, on Thursday. Mm. Because they had a charity thing on for or, or, or some autism society. Right. So. so is it on the same level as the dining area, or is it... No, it's around the corner, oh, on right. Bailey Street. Oh, right. Um, opposite Co-op. Right. So, open every day, you can pop in, get a milkshake or a coffee or a smoothie. Might give it a try. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. I had a, a dime bar one. Dime bar milkshake. Mm, that sounds nice. 
There's the different ones. I think Christ had a Kinder Bueno one, which was said was really good. And Dave had a. What did Dave have? I think Double Decker or something, or. Yeah. I can't remember. Mine was good anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of it. I'm tempted to go in. I think you should. Yeah. And don't forget, you can now as well, because it's actually now open. I think every day from 9 or 10. Yeah. I can't remember, but go check it out. Tell them the last time a podcast we sent you. Yeah. You won't get anything for it, but tell them we sent you. Because we might get something in return. Of course, you won't get a free milk. <laughs> for a free plug. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So move away from the cold. Have you seen the new Killing Joke trailer for the animated, soon to be animated film? Yeah, just recently. In fact, it's about five minutes ago. No, it's like <laughs> 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I quite liked it. It looks really good. Have you read the book? No, I never read the book. You never read the book? No. It's bloody good. Yeah. Yeah. May give it a try sometime. I think you'll have to. Yeah. I've got a copy of it at home somewhere. Ah, bring it around me. It's probably one of the, the best sort of graphic novels I've read yeah. out of the three I've read. <laughs> yeah. <I'm fair. laughs> it's up there with the best ones. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the only ones I've read is Arkham Asylum um, and two as well. I need to read the Frank Miller one. Is it Batman Return? Or Dark Knight Returns, I think it's it Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. yeah. I need to read that one at some point on the sequel. Mm. It's one of the time. Yes. But on the things of what you haven't seen and haven't watched, did you watch Super Mario yet? No, I've got the week off. Oh! So watch it this week. I'm going to put booze in here. <laughs> so it sounds like there's an audience <laughs> sat well, behind us booing you. A whole crowd of booing me. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I don't care. <laughs> no, I've got time to, to actually watch it this week, so I'm going to... Probably watch it some other night, actually. Yeah. Not doing well, rather, rather than Through the Never on film four. I've got a Blu-ray anyway, so it's alright. <laughs> I'll watch that Sunday. You might have to put Super Mario one, though, and then watch Through the Never afterward to redeem yourself. Yeah, get over the Super Mario Bros. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea, actually. I'll start early. <laughs> so, yeah, sticking with films, Paul Paul has wrote in, because we're moving on to topics, Paul has wrote in Tarantino films. Mm. Favourites and least favourite, or favourite and least favourite. Yeah, because I'm a big fan of Tarantino. Love his films. As am I. Um, yeah, a favorite. We'll go with favourite first of all. So mine that have to be. It's got to be Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. But it's funny thing is, I remember when I first watched it, and it's like, I've never seen actually seen a film ever like that before when I first watched it. And I didn't really enjoy it. And it took me like two or three list, uh, two, two or three viewings to actually really, really enjoy it. And then I just split that. Now it's just one of my favourite films. film. That happened to me with Watchmen. I had to watch it like twice. Yeah. That's, another, that's a long film. No. Like three hours. That was Pulp Fiction though. 2.40. Yeah. Um, it's a tough one for my favourite, really. I don't Because I remember the first time I watched it was Reservoir Dogs. And I always, I've always really liked it. Mm. Plus we did Reservoir Dogs for your stag do. We did do, yeah. <laughs> Though the amount of people that I thought I'd even an undertaker, yeah. that had just finished yeah. work. Or about, well, are you a, a mistake of a bouncer as well? Yeah, like that's not Satan's hollow. Yeah. Can I go out for a fag, mate? I don't know, I'm not a bouncer. That was funny. No, yeah. the, the, be- the one that beat that was the girl that came up to me and said, you just finished work. I said, what? She went, you're an undertaker, aren't you? <laughs> But it's like that one guy who actually got it straight away that we're doing Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty oh, good. Dear. Um, hmm. Okay, what's your worst? Yeah, I'll go with worst first. I think there's probably going to be some controversy for this one, but I, didn't, I really didn't want the Hateful Eight at all. No. It was alright in parts, but it was just too long and too, nothing really happened in it. I've seen it twice. I, lo- I must admit, I loved it the first time, and then the second time, just, yeah, I, I kind of same feeling. I just found it really too long and not much happening. So I was um, really disappointed with it. But he does. Uh, I'm trying to think what else he's done. Have he's done. Are we talking about like films that he's written as well that he's not directed? No, I think just ones he's like done both of, yeah. if anything. Because uh, it's like you got. Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, Jackie yeah. Brown, Kill Bill 1 and 2, Death Proof, Django, Hateful Eight. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing one. 
Oh, wait, Glorious Bastards as well. Oh, shit, yeah, that one. Mm. <laughs> oh, can I forget? I can I forget as well. <laughs> um, I don't, it's a really tough one. Because I like it. I like Reservoir Dogs, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. Uh, Kill Bill, yeah, possibly Django, I'd say is my favourite. Maybe. Yeah, that's great. Um, Inglorious wasn't bad. Death Proof, bit meh. But then again, it's if you watch it, part of the Grindhouse full cut it is better than the the, the half cut. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> I haven't seen it in a while though. No, so I haven't. Maybe another film that I'll have to dig out and watch sometime. I'll have to go with Django. Yeah. I think it's my favourite. It's a great film. I love that film. Least favourite, Hateful Eight. Yeah. So. But I'm just waiting for him to do the, the full Kill Bill or Kill Bill Volume 3. At some yeah. Point. If he will do the Volume 3 or not. Because he's supposed to be doing that um, Master Pussycat Kill Kill, isn't he? Yeah. Be making that. If he does that one. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. Well, supposed to be like, just is it? Real, do you think like after his tenth film, like, because he said he's after he's done ten films, they'll just quit after that and not make any more films? Possibly, but I think like it's like when Kevin Smith said he was doing that. He's like, I'm clerks for you in my last film, but yeah. then he's like, he suddenly got the idea to do Tusk. And he's like, oh no, I actually really like filmmaking. Yeah, and people really like the film, so why would I stop? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, but then he's got the money to. He's got the money to essentially do what he wants. Um, so he's, got, he's making more, more brats, is it called? Sequels and more brats? Yeah, he's doing more more brats and he's doing Clerks 3. Well, he's doing he's doing more brats, Moose Jaws, Clerks 3. And he's meant to have been doing a TV show for it, it's called Puck Nuts. Which is like a hockey. It was meant to be a film, but it's like a. It's turned, it said it's going to be a TV show instead, which is like yeah. a hockey. A hockey Hockey drama or something like that. Could be interesting. Yeah. Well, I think Moose Jaw is definitely the most interesting currently. Yeah. Is that the, <laughs> is that the third film of the trilogy? Or yeah, the, yeah. the Great Great North trilogy or something. Yeah. Jaws of a Moose. <laughs> which, was, which was the first one? Tusk. Tusk. Yeah, because it's set in Canada. Oh, right. So. Mm. <laughs> What's up, Sheldon? <laughs> What's joining? Hey. You say something. No? No. Oh, fine. Uh, following on from that, sticking with films, we've got Danny. Danny tweeted in uh, steelbook DVD cases or Blu-ray cases. The A or A. I like them. Um, they're expensive though. They yeah. are. What you get, what you get. Um, it depends. Expensive. Sometimes you can get a bargain. Sometimes because yeah. I got the. Not class of Newcomb High. It was I think Tromeo and Juliet or something or no, I think it was Toxic Avenger, the first one. Yeah. It's a steel excuse me, it's a steel book, but it's I got it from like sort of average price rather than like Zavi Zavi seems to ha- hail themselves like the, the steel book king. But then it's like it years ago you could pay thirty quid for the Iron Man. Iron Man one, the yeah. steel book. Nothing special, it was just the steel book. The film itself on DVD was 12 quid. Steelbook, 30. It's a rip off, isn't it? Because it's a steelbook. Yeah. But then if you want to talk it to CEX and want to trade it in, you get the same price for trading it as you would for trading in the standard DVD. Nothing special about it at all. Just trying to make money off it because it's quite, yeah. you know, it's quite nice having a steel steelbook, but yeah, if it was a bit cheaper, then it'd be a lot better, really. I mean, remember like Captain America being £25 at HMV. Yeah, exactly. So it's really expensive. Um, but I do like them, you know, they are good, but yeah, if you put, put they have their price on a bit. I remember there was a, a two disc steelbook of Ghost Rider, the first one, mm. at uh, HMV, I think it was. It, one point, it started off with like £9, then went up to 17 then 22 and then it like, disappeared, and then it dropped, it came back again and dropped to about, I think, 7 or 8 quid again, and then it disappeared again. Never saw it again since. That was weird. But I remember like Captain America on Blu ray, that was like £20 at Blockbuster when yeah, I was open. Mental. That, was that, was, that, was, that, that wasn't even a steel case. <laughs> that, was, that, that wasn't even a steel book though. It was just like. That's Blockbuster though. It's like yeah. Wol- when Woolworths still had Nintendo 64 games. 
It was like 50 quid. Battle Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, 50 quid. Yeah. It's, like it's been out for three years. <laughs> but so. yeah, that's when like you couldn't get Captain America at all. Yeah. For some reason, it's just sold out and nobody was selling it at all anywhere. Weird. I've got a few steelbooks, so I've got the, I've got the Raid, I've got Toxic Avenger, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, to name a few. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got them either pretty cheap or because I just wanted them. I think it was like, with the Raid, it was on Blu-ray, but I think I got it from Play at the time, they only had it on Steelbook. Yeah. But it, it was only like two quid different or something to get it on standard DVD. Mm. Whereas sometimes it comes out afterwards, or you, pay, you pre-order it, it might drop in price a bit, it comes out, you get it after release date, it's like, oh, you're not a Steelbook, 25 quid now, because you missed a pre-order. Yeah. Like, no thanks. I've got cast two on Steelbook. Django on Chain. I've got Django Steelbook, I've got Sherlock Holmes 2 Steelbook, and I've got Kick-Ass 1 as a Steelbook, it was cheap, it was yeah. like a fiver, on was, Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> Someone bought it me on DVD for Christmas and I saw it for five on Steelbook Blu-ray, yeah. so I was like, why not? Snap it up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, they have their advantages sometimes, but it's there's no... The artworks can be alright on them sometimes, I mean that's the only real reason to buy them. Mm. If they're cheap, yeah, like I wouldn't pay thirty quid. Just oh, that that artwork looks good. Mm. But there yeah, we go. They, they last longer though, so must admit as well. Just, but um, if you look after the library, like, like any DVD can yeah. walk or can be thingy if you look after it enough. Like I've had loads of DVDs. I've taken them in. I think it was PS2 games. I traded some in once at CX a few years ago, and the guy was amazed at the quality of them. Mm. And I said, "Well, sorry, but I look after my stuff." Me too. Yeah. It's, I'm not going to... The amount of time I've picked up the cases and they've been smashed or they've, I've got it home and the disc has been all grubby with fingerprints and scratches and stuff and it's... Yeah. You had to like clean it up. I, as I bought a few games recently, like, for a game, like, it's kind of like £15. Yeah. So I had like, a gift voucher and I'd have to send them clean them as well because they were like, both dirty as well, so... Yeah. I don't like no. I don't normally like buying secondhand stuff. But I do like buy them new. Um, Sometimes though, it's like two quid. You, it's like oh, you can buy it brand new for thirty one ninety nine, or buy it pre owned for twenty nine. Yeah. Well, I've seen sometimes game logic is buy it buy it new for thirty nine ninety nine on or something. Or buy yeah buy it. It's like buy it new thirty four ninety nine, and it's like pre owned thirty nine ninety nine. It's like why would I pay more for it pre owned? You wouldn't, would you? <laughs> I thought it's stupid to do it. So, yeah. Uh, following on from that, so cheers for sending that in, Danny. Uh, Starbucks. What do you know about Starbucks? You good coffee. I prefer Costa. I should have said that. For free advertising again for people. We had to start charging it this way. Yeah. I mean, I prefer that other shop. What's it called? Um, tacos. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I love that that's 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 <laughs> No, it's like if you got a Starbucks and they write your name, they might you might get some up with the last you write your name or whatever because you do, do like a special order and they might say, "Oh, can we write your name? What's your name?" So you can write it on your cup mm. and they'll shout it out. But then if you do that and you say, "Oh, my name's Gareth. I want a some up with low fat decaffeinated." Crap, mm. a cappuccino, let's okay. say. Yeah. Well, well I, I like cappuccino. I normally go for a latte though. All right, you'll have a latte. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no no thingy for that, so you're safe. Yeah. Cool. But say you ordered that and it's to go, but then you said I want low fat milk or something, and then they say, "Well, what's your name? Oh, my name's Gareth." Mm. Or you might go, "My name's Sheldon." Yeah. But then they'll purposely spell your name wrong on purpose on the cup. What's the point there? It's so that you essentially you'll take might take a picture of it and then put it on Facebook and the Twitter and the Instagram, yeah, and the Google, and you do saying, oh look, who, they spelt my name wrong, and then people are commenting on it going, where's that? And you'll say Starbucks. Yeah. So you got they get free advertising out of it. Yeah. So you paid for a coffee and to advertise them. That's sneaky. Yeah. They have to get like a lot mark pen and just like. So. <laughs> I'll just give it back to him and say sorry I spelled my name wrong yeah. can I yes. have another one please yeah, sorry can I have it free as well 
Oh, uh, you know, give me a cake as well. I'll have one of those. Just rob just the, pl- just spelled- the place while you're in yeah, there. Just because you spelled the name wrong. Well. I'll take a panini. <laughs> uh, best give me some of them tea cakes. I'll take a cup of ice. I'll yeah. take some sugar packets. <laughs> oh, the next I'll take, take a tray. Place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I have one of those mugs as well? I quite like those mugs. <laughs> Look, someone I know did that once. Yes, he sat there with a brew, and he said, uh, he's, "He's there all in this like big mug." He said to himself out loud, "He's like, God, I might nick this." And the manager was sat across from him, <laughs> and said, apparently looked at him and went, "You might as well do every fucker else does." Oh well, if you're gonna take something, just sneakily do it. Don't. Everybody. I'm waiting for the day like I go around to someone's house and it's like they said you want a brew and it's like yeah please and they pull out a Starbucks, Starbucks cup <laughs> they just have a cupboard full and it's full of pint glasses they're yeah. stolen from various pubs yeah who would who would steal pint glasses need I say more <laughs> well you know <laughs> it's sometimes you go to a pub you, you see like a nice pint glass you think yeah you think yeah I'll have that yeah. <laughs> put it in your bag Oh, actually, mate, put it in his bag if he's got one. Yeah. But I did. I would once have a strong boy serious glass. Oh, what's that? A strong boy serious glass. Oh yeah. That was the. It was like a red. I think it was red apple. In the end, it turned yeah. out it was like red strong boy. It's sweeter than normal strong boy. Oh. Um, it was only like a, it only came out for like two years, and yeah. they got rid of it. I think it just didn't sell overly well. Yeah. But I liked it. Mm. I used to like drink strong boy years ago. The same. Mm. No, and it's like all the other different like, all these Bro- brothers in Cobberg and Patches. Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> Again, we're doing free advertising. I know. Shocking. No, if we keep going, we might get free stuff. I'd like to. So, if you'd like to advertise on the Last Night of Podcasting, drop us an email. Yeah. Last Night of Podcasting at gmail.com, subject advertising. Yeah. Let's sort some out. Get a lawyer could drive past and just drop us like cases of Strongbow. They just think you're some pisshead lives there. Sure, yeah. Right. I'd never get through it though. That's the thing. <laughs> to take it to the streets. Yeah. Just there you go. Throwing <laughs> cans of strong out the window yeah. of a car. Yeah. You could make money off it though. Too Probably could. Can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sell it off to some random bar that sells pint that yeah. sells uh, cans rather than pints. Well, yeah. It just I won't say where though. No. <laughs> it's a place we frequent very often. <laughs> And sell it cheaper than them. <laughs> the stand like, off the like property one, line. Like £1.50 a can or something. Yeah. Uh, Where am I looking? Now I'm looking at my notes again. Oh, I think it's one. I need to check my notes on this one. Or check the, the source on this. But have you heard of the New Jersey, New Jersey Devil? The New Jersey Devil, even. I'll say that again. No. No, you never heard the New Jersey Devil? About, what about the New Jersey Devil? Is this the high, ice hockey? No, there's the... Um, there's the ice hockey team, the New Jersey, Jersey Devils. I don't speak tonight. I know, it's really... But there's also... They got the name from the mythical beast, the New Jersey, Jersey Devil. The New Jersey Devil. That's okay. One. But there's also... I think it's in... I've got to find it now. There was... Um, I believe it's in Ohio, your wife's place of ed- residence, oh, yeah. that there's a, some sort of weird being called the Goat Man. Ah, I may have to ask about this. I'm just having to have a look for it, but I'll cut this bit out. Yeah. Here we go. So it's, the headline was from Unilad, uh, and it's, Woman killed while investing Goat Man Urban Legend. Uh-huh. Weird. And it was a woman. It says a, it's someone about Slenderman and how two girls stabbed a woman. And it says, and now another woman has died after being hit by a train while investigating the Goatman legend with her boyfriend. Something I'm not going to try and say her name from Ohio died after a train appeared on an old, still active ra- railroad trestle on Saturday. The couple were in Louisville as part of a haunted tour of the Waverly Hill Sanatorium and heard about the myths and decided to venture out and see if they could find it. Also, it's in Kentucky. It is in Kentucky, yeah. Oh, not Ohio, so she's safe. Yeah, she's safe, yeah. Uh, it's believed the Goatman, also known as the, the Pope Lake Monster. Mm, that's weird. 
<laughs> I'm wondering how the name came about. Was it called Licking the Pope one day? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out when somebody crosses the trestle, so the pair decide to get up to the train tracks thinking the railroad are no longer in use. Yeah. Um, it's essentially not that bit in Stand By Me, though. It's like a massive bridge. Yeah, where they're all like running across it. Yeah. yeah. But sadly it was, as they were hit by an oncoming train, which caused the woman to fall around 80 to 100 feet from the tracks. Somehow her boyfriend is hit without injury. That's alright then. So he didn't look out for it then? No. He didn't save her? No. Nice of him. Um, but it says that the myth has claimed taken several lives over the last 30 years, and despite the chain fence and warning signs. Oh. But it's quite, someone's quoted as saying, if they're halfway through the, over the track the train comes, you have to either jump, run, or basically get it. Well, but it's like, do you think you can out on a train? <laughs> no. <laughs> so. Oh well. So don't go looking for mythical beach, mythical no. beasts over a train line. Be more sensible in life. Yeah. And you won't get killed. Yeah. So there we are. Mm, interesting. And... Oh, that was another thing that annoyed me today. Well, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I, I read a story. There's a woman who decided to Snapchat herself driving. I saw this on Facebook, yeah. And she, because there's like a, a speedometer you can get on your Snapchat and she wanted to hit 100 mile an hour or something. And so she decided to do that, but then smashed into another car. But then Snapchat herself saying lucky to be alive and she's strapped into a gurney. That's nice of her. And she's my moron of the week. Yeah. Of the year. There must be a special prize for that kind of video to see. I don't know, but it's the fact she has a vote. Yeah. Even that annoys me, if anything. Yeah. But yeah, the guy, she smashed into like an old guy or something, and he's now like essentially having to have ramp the 24 7 care while she gets off with minor injuries. So uh, it's. Mm. I hope she gets really sued. I hope yeah. she does as well. Yeah. I don't want to see Joe Lesson though. It should do. Mm. But I hope hopefully, hopefully they ban her from driving and whatever else. And she has yeah. to pay fines and all sorts. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. No. But that's yeah, it just really annoyed me. Yeah, people some people are just idiots. So let the lesson be let the lesson be learned, kids. Don't use your phone while you're driving. Yeah. Turn it off or put it on silent or whatever. Uh, another topic sent in, this one's from my brother, Christ, and also Paul Flinders. So cheers for sending these in. Um, shrinking chocolate bars. Yeah, interesting. Have you noticed the Mars is shrinking? I don't really have Mars. I'm not really keen on Mars. Not fan. No. More Snickers. I, I prefer Snickers to Mars. Oh, uh, young people. Right? Yeah. But yeah, I, I know what I mean sort of thing, because I mean... As a, when I was a kid, like I remember the whisper bars, they were a lot bigger than they are now. Yeah. And the whisper bars were you know, a lot smaller or something. So, you generally, like, I don't know what it's like as you've grown up. It's, 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 I remember when I did my paper round when I was like 13, it was 29p from Mars Bar mm. in the shop. But it was quite, it was only, it was, it was not as long, but thicker. Yeah. And now they sort of got thinner and longer. Yeah. Uh, but. A few years ago, like Nestle or wherever it was, said, oh, they're not shrinking, they're the same size. It's like, and then someone got a picture of an old one and was like, I think you'll find they're not. <laughs> but then it's like, oh, well, yeah, they're not, but it's that's to do with the, the cost of chocolate going up and stuff and the cost of production and chocolate and all that sort of thing. Just put the price up a bit and just leave it as it is. Yeah. It's like I'm paying more for less. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I want more chocolate. Not less. <laughs> if anything, if anything, it should put people off by having chocolate, but it doesn't. Mm. So. The one thing I'd not noticed shrinking the bounties. They seem to say the same size. They do actually, yeah. Uh, but like, I know Whispers shrunk. I think the Yorkies shrunk as well, actually. They, yes, seems they, to have they used to be really, yeah, they used to be a lot bigger. Mm. And they, but they've definitely shrunk. Well, they wasn't yeah. shrunk. Kit can't stay the same size, at least. Kick that chunk of this funk a bit. Yeah. I think so. I reckon so. What about crunchies? You know, crunchies are about the same size. They might have been a bit longer back in the day. Yeah. But. I'm just trying to think. Because I don't really. 
eat a lot of chocolate bars than that these days. Yeah. Tends to go for biscuits or something, but... Mm. It's interesting. It is. You'll yeah. have to go around the, the stores and find loads of chocolate bars and compare yeah. sizes. Yeah. <laughs> Just stand there and rule like, oh. <laughs> Morris, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? It's okay, it's research. Yeah. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Get that man. <laughs> And following on from that, side topic, chocolate, well, is it, first off, uh, shrinking, no, no, it's not, scratch that, chocolate that's been phased out, so any bars you think can think of disappeared, that have disappeared, or? No, this has gone back years. I remember one that came to mind straight away as soon as I read it. Which one? Spyro. Remember Spyro? I used to love Spyro. I did. And they got rid of him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean... Years ago, like, it had this chocolate bar called 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. I think it's, I, I can't remember what it's, and I used to really love it. I think it's like, like wafer and caramel. Yeah, right. I think I'm not 100% sure. Like a lion bar. Kind of like that, yeah, but yeah. But we've got the rice crispies instead of rice crispies. crispies. No, it's, well, we've got the rice crispies basically. Yeah. So yeah, a bit like that. Right. I remember Fuse. They were nice. Yes. But they were raisins in as well as well. Yeah, it was like crispies and raisins. Yeah, they were nice, yeah. That's like that. Uh I remember the, the champagne crunchy. Never knew what they had did yeah. that. It was on like a limited edition thing. I missed out on that then. Yeah. I think it was like sort of champagne or something. There was mm. something weird about it. There was uh well, there's another one came to mind then. Is it Aztec Bar? It was an Aztec bar, I think it was called. I think there was. People at home now are screaming at the they'll be sitting there screaming at the phone on the TV got the What about their, this uh, chocolate laptop bar? The laptop screaming screaming chocolate bars to us that they remember. Yeah. I remember that was well, not so much chocolate bar, there was the Astros that Cadbury did. Like a little small box on that big. And like little If I saw it I'd probably say yeah. Like it they like it when them crispies. But they're in like a small box. I don't know what's in boxes. I think what they call poppets or something. I don't know. They're like uh, like balls of chocolate, like some of like raisins, some of like just biscuit. And just for most of them, like, I think just more chocolate, I'm not too sure. Like, mm-hmm. Different types of them. They're like really small boxes, like. I'm not uh, sure to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, five counts as well. Five counts? They're like the circular and meaty sort of. They're still going. Are they still going, are they? Yeah. I've not seen those for ages. Mm. I'll try to get some down. I'm yeah. sure they're still on the shelves, though. Yeah, I'll have to look. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any other chocolate bars. I should know, really. Mm. Mm. No. If you, can think, if you can think of any others, send them in to us. Post on our Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, Lost Art Podcast. You know, or send yeah. them to us in a tweet. Lost Art, Lost Art Podcast. I'll send pictures as well. You know, like, what yeah, like send some pictures, it might remind us. Like, yeah. Um, sticking with the theme of food that's been phased out, they've got the guys also sent in crisps that have been phased out. Again, this is a tricky one because I couldn't think of many. No, I can't. Oh. This used to be these like triangular crisps and they have like pizza flavour. Doritos? <laughs> no. They're like different ones. They, they, Doritos did pizza flavor ones, yeah. which were amazing. But they weren't Doritos, they were like really. Oh. I think like early 90s, I think it was. Really? They were out, but they don't do them anymore. Um, but I can't think of any crisps, really. Um, well, the ones I remember are Smith's. Yeah, Smith's crisps. The salt and vinegar sticks. Yeah. But then, like most places do them now, like massive sharing bags. Mm. It's like an adult size. <laughs> That's a tricky one. I can't, I can't remember. I can't even think of it. They're the only one that I can think of. Yeah. There was like Roysters, but then they bought they some brought them back. Like t bone steak ones. Yeah. But they did some fried chicken now as well. Mm. Yeah, I forgot those about Roysters. Yeah. I used to have them all the time. Get them in your local pound shop. Mm. <laughs> My favourite are Space Raiders. So that's the best thing I've Good. There was, there was the old ones you used to get built at a school and like on your break. Like primary school when I was at, they, used to, they originally used to do like um, 
small bags, like five or ten p sometimes, like a like tomato flavour and yeah, some of those. stuff like that. Mm. I remember Cheeto, when Cheetos were about, and then they disappeared, and then they suddenly come back. They were really nice. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about those. You can only get them in the States now, can't you? No, you can get them here. You can get them here as well. Yeah. They bought them back. You can get yeah. small bags of crunchy ones. It's like three for a quid in like corner shops and convenience shops and stuff. And there's like some places do like the bigger bags of flaming hot ones, but it's like a spy, the spirals or something. Yeah. I'll have to look out for them. But there is like the, the Cheetos puffs you can get in the pound shop. Yeah. It's, there's like cheese flavour and flaming hot. Mm. Seems like what's it? Yeah. When I think about these, you know, I can't remember like later on. One I do, I, one that it's not well, the actual crisp itself is not phased out, but it's the flavour has. Yeah. I really like use like uh, salt and vinegar quavers. They don't do them anymore. They do cheese. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I remember those or not. I just all I remember was like they used to do. Cheese. It was a multi pack where they did cheese, prawn cocktail, and salt and vinegar. Remember prawn cocktail ones? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember some vinegar ones. Blue packet. Yeah. It's coming back to me, I think. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Remember them. No, nothing. I can't think of any other crisps at all. No. So there we go, folks. If you can think of any other crisps that we might have forgotten that have disappeared over time, that haven't come back already, yeah. send them in. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. email. Instagram. Oh, Instagram, yeah. Send yeah. us a picture of them if you can find them. Yeah. On the Google somewhere. Uh, so yeah, cheers. Send those in, guys. Follow on from that. I listened to some new music last night. I say new music. It's all new music. Old music, but new music. Mm. I listened to the very first uh, Radio the Machine album. Oh, yeah? For the first time. I've never listened to I hadn't for ages. I'd listened, I used to only heard like, the actual songs they released in videos and yeah. stuff. And when I first heard them, I was like, these guys are shit, don't like them. Yeah. But then, sort of, when you, when you like, go to the Tash and stuff, it was all you'd hear is one of like, their main Tash songs you'd you always hear is killing, killing the name of. Because mm. my young cousin had that album, and it's like, I, I listened to bits of it, so I don't like it. It's the same as, as like you as well, but then I haven't got to Tash and listen to him and it. It's like, yeah, it's really good. Mm. So I won't mind listening to the album as well. I bought it at that, that big sh- uh, music retailer. I got four albums for it, uh, didn't I? I got beat. two two Rage. Yeah. It was like, what's it called? Um, it's got a dog in it. The band name or the album name? No, the actual shop. I'm not going to... It's a, it's a oh, le- yeah. leading retailer. We'll leave it there. VMH or something? Uh, HIV. <laughs> <laughs> MHV? I can't remember. There's some sort of weird... It's, it's some sort of weird abbreviation. Yeah, three letters. BK or... It's a kind of order. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking some form of Elvish. <laughs> yeah, what they talk about, I don't know. Um, they had like they had a they have a pro pro uh, promo program promotional. Promotion. That's the one. Promotional at the moment is two two metal arms for tenor. There's like Sabbath, ACDC, Rage, there's Biffy Clyro, Boston Metallica. I can't remember. Mm. There's some other stuff in there, baby metal and stuff. Yeah, but um, I thought, well, I'm going to get some old stuff that I've not... Bands I've heard stuff from, but not actually heard much yeah. else from. So I got two Rage Against the Machine albums. I got that one and Battle of Los Angeles, which yeah. just came out in 1999. And I got two Slayer albums. I got Raiding Blood and Seasons in the Abyss. Yeah. So, I took them to the till and I had my, my loyalty card there. Um, I said to the girl, I was like, went to, she went to swipe it. I said, oh, I'm going to pay £10 cash and £10 card. And she's like, yeah, okay. And then she said, oh, you've got £10 credit on your card, you want to use it. I was like, that'll do. <laughs> nice. Four albums for a tenner. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> so it's just been finding the time to listen to them, because between editing, sleeping and working, I've had nothing, nothing, no other free time. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> the life of a podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> who's mildly successful and sort of doesn't yeah. know what he's doing still. <laughs> We're getting there, though. <laughs> just like, just got to start these, these lists, maybe. This one's saying it's like. My memory is shit though. Yeah, mine is as well. I've run out of stuff to say. Mm. The list keeps it on track, and I've got a full. There's loads to fill yet. So there's like a good few episodes there. Yeah. 
and then it might get auctioned off for charity or something, maybe. Yeah. Or might keep it as a memento. Yeah. So I'll have to wait and see. Um, my mate James wrote in. <laughs> I quite like his topic, it's quite funny. SpongeBob. Do you, do you like SpongeBob? It's what Mr. SquarePants. Um, I have watched, you know, episodes when my nephew's been over, um, because he likes it. But the the question the question he's asked is SpongeBob, can you still watch it if the kids leave the room? I suppose. So if your nephew if your nephew left the room, what yeah, do you do? I would. You would. I'd carry on, I'd carry, I'd carry on watching it. <laughs> but it's sort of, I have watched SpongeBob myself because um, there is sort of there's some dark adult humour in it at times, mm. quite subtle at some points, and other times right in your face. Like most is, yeah. adult films, like like Toy Story having Woody and Buzz. Yeah, that's that familiar Volkswagen advert which cut the sauce and nut for me. <laughs> There's a lot of cartoons like that as well, isn't it? Like you have to have to buy little things in the cartoons themselves. It's... There's always subtle little nods to adults and stuff. Yeah, like I think this is the same in Shrek. There's like adult humour in it and stuff. Yeah, um, but but when you're a kid, you don't really understand it do you, as well, so you don't really. Well, see that's it. it. Uh, but it's, yeah, so do you think you can watch him if the kids carry on watching SpongeBob? The kids leave the room. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I kind of got the uh, film upstairs as well on DVD. The, I don't the, know why the I original it. one or the one where he looks like he's on steroids. The original, the very first SpongeBob film mm. that came out. Oh, I don't dear. know what made me buy it really. I think it's just like because <laughs> I worked. And the people like talk about Spongebob so. you worked yeah. at where the odd ones oh the odd ones yeah I've got to beat that I've got to beat that now why do I keep saying that, that other one that other word I don't know <laughs> you just give me such a headache for anything like, oh yeah. find him beep it because I just keep saying that <laughs> fuck off <laughs> <laughs> you'll do two spoonfuls of this yeah fine I'll do it I'll do three if you want you won't I'll try the first one because that means you've got so many beeps now yeah <laughs> every time I say like one speaker. Yeah. But you're gonna stop saying it now. Yeah, I must. Well I'll spoil Cats America for you, Civil War. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. I would. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing that actually. <laughs> I saw it earlier today. Just for a for a possible review. Yeah, we'll have to go and see it in the week and uh, you know we'll Oh yeah, I'll see it again. Especially the bit where uh thingy dies. What well, Spider Man. <laughs> right about that as well, they're gonna be uh, reinventing for the next film, aren't they? Oh well, bloody Spider Man homecoming. Yeah. Shit name for a film. Boycott that film, and then I've realised that certain maybe a spoiler with it. Mm. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in it. Oh, I read that over there. Yeah, so that's uh, I'm going to have to watch it now. Yeah. But hopefully it'll continue on from Captain America. Maybe. I'm, I'm guessing it will. Yeah. But then if it's home, is it going to be like? You're only justice or where he's already, already established a Spider-Man. We're going to get the whole origin story again. It's going to jump forward. Yeah. I hope Because do we need do we need another Spider-Man origin story? No, we don't. I hope they have like, like little nods from the last two films, maybe. I don't know. So like put something in there that's... Carries on. Might, you might get the odd mention or something. Or it'll, be like, it'll be something really stupid, like his auntie's, auntie's watching Garfield or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, but we'll see anyway. But it'd be interesting with you know Danny Jr. Then. That's probably I, I was speaking to somebody at work actually about it, and um, the person spoke to was thought, thought probably thought thinks that Marvel put him in there on purpose for the Spider-Man will make money because people were probably want to thinking like oh, I don't want to see it but seeing the other the Spider-Man. Films, <laughs> the fact that we've got you going from Spider-Man to the amazing Spider-Man to yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming yeah it's weird I know it's, it's just like very strange yeah but it's with like, another person playing Spider-Man yeah true yeah you know could be getting another actor for Spider-Man because he's been killed off in Captain America for the record folks he hasn't been killed off <laughs> in the Civil War spoil it you were trying to spoil it for people yourself but surely people know he's not dying because there's a Spider-Man Homecoming film coming out. Mm. So, hello. Uh, Following on from that, he also sent in Keenan and Kel, good or plain awesome. Did you ever watch? watch it, really. You never watched it? No. It was nineties. Yeah, so they've it's... all grown up there, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, Keen- Keenan's on Saturday Night Live now. Really? Yeah. 
I don't watch it anymore, but I've watched about twice because it's really difficult to find yeah. in the UK without going to various sources. You'd have to watch the, uh, you'd have to find, probably on the like, Jones channel, maybe, I think, on the Sky. It was on at one point, it was on the channel on Sky, but it was like a couple of weeks behind or something. Yeah. Because that's when they used to do, they used to have Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien on like CNBC, but it'd be mm. like two, two or three weeks behind sometimes. That's crazy. Uh, it's like I think you can't say, can't not say Keenan Kelly is just good. You have to say it's playing awesome because at the time when it was out, we had the stuff like of Sabrina out and yeah, there was like sister sister and stuff. And then it was like Keenan and Kelly was just was definitely I one of really, the funniest. Never really watched that sort of thing though. When it was, when it was out. You should have done. Yeah, it was funny. I may watch like the. I may, I may cause some of the, the Keenan Carroll like when the, the nephews yeah. were watching it maybe but never took notice of it missing out I don't think you know you are excuse me so yeah I think you should give it at least one episode to try yeah but is it, is it, like, is it really a silly sort of like it is in points yeah it's a thing, if you've seen Good Burger, it's like Good Burger. Yeah. Just not as... I've seen that either. You're not missing much. <laughs> yeah, right, on that note, I think we'll take a short break so you can listen to some adverts. Yeah. And go for a wee drink, smoke or poo. Yeah. Again. Uh, make yourself a cup of tea or something, or maybe... Whilst Gary prepares himself for the for the hot sauce challenge. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> you crazy bastard. I know. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be back after these messages. Well, hello, my name is David Hughes, and I'm one half of Mooch TV, along with Chris Cassidy, a young aspiring actor and writer, now stuck with me, talking dribble, every week on YouTube. You like interviews with such stars as Paul McCartney and Britney Spears? They're not on this show. But never mind, we'll do our own thing, talking to local stars, and also film reviews and food reviews, and anything else that cheers us up. So please, look for Mooch TV on your YouTube box. Who's TV? The programme to watch when there's nothing else on the telly. Pit pit people. Hi, I'm Paul the Hat Guy Flinders, and I'm here to tell you about a brand new wrestling podcast that I host called the WrestleBox Podcast. We talk about the week's news in the world of professional wrestling from WWE, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, through to TNA, and all the way through the indie scenes such as Best of City Wrestling and other indie scenes such as ROH. Plus all the bits in between, you know, all the fun bits, all the baby stuff that's out of the wrestling world. So join us every week if you like a bit of a laugh, a bit of banter, and a bit of wrestling talk. Join us as a spreaker, look for WrestleBox, and find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash WrestleBox. Thank you for listening to my little plug, and now it's back to the Lost Art of Podcasting. Welcome back to the Lost Art of Podcasting. I'm Nicole Foxy. I'm Gareth. Of course. So, you've probably just heard some adverts. You probably have heard, well, you've heard adverts because I just put them in, no doubt, in my editing capacity. No, I probably won't get this out. I wanted to put this out on Monday, but I probably won't get a chance to. Yeah, because you got a big weekend, don't you, really? Yeah. I've got nothing to do Sunday, but Sunday's going to be recovering and, and editing. Mm, so I wasn't doing like a bank holiday special. Yeah. But I won't get a chance. Because you're on a stag do, aren't you? I am. And I'm nothing to do Sunday. Problem recover and edit. It's going to be a wild night. <sighs> Isn't it just? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to wear this till next week, so it's fine. That's cool. I'll yeah. recover by then, yeah. hopefully. 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 Might take a whole week to recover. <laughs> if it's not the last of all night I did, then yeah. Because I always get ill for like two days. Mm. For some reason. I'm getting older, I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait till you get to my age. No, oh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay, I'll stay at 28, or yeah. 25, or whatever, 26, whatever I've been with the past several years. Yeah. 23 even, I passed up for last year. And two sort of. Just got back to 21 or something, 20. And start again. Mm. 20 was shit. Yeah. <laughs> 20 is what, being 20 is <laughs> shit anyway. 30 is better. Yeah, uh, I watched Civil War today. Yeah. It's American Civil War. As oh. I said earlier in the podcast. Yeah, and what do you think of it? It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, better than Winter Soldier, actually. I, prefer, I enjoyed it more than that. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the pacing like? It's 
two and a half hours, isn't it? It is. Uh, it's quite well paced now. It wasn't. It does feel longer than well, two. I think it was two twenty. It does feel long. However, it doesn't. It's not like when I watched Dark Knight Rises. And it's like, oh, you think it's in the finish, and it's oh, well, there's still forty minutes left yet. <laughs> So, is it the best Marvel fl- Marvel film? For me think? personally, no, because I like my probably best Marvel film for me will be either Iron Man the first one or the first Avengers. Yeah, I reckon. Maybe can't, maybe the first Captain America, possibly. Like, that's, that's up there. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely one of the better ones. I've more, like I said, I enjoyed it more than Winter Soldier. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I was thinking about watching the first two films again before I see the third one. Yeah. That's if I get a chance to do it. You got this weekend? I have actually, yeah. Maybe do it on Sunday. Yeah. All day Sunday or maybe all day Saturday. If we get a chance. Redeem yourself. Well, you can watch, watch Super Mario on Saturday and then redeem yourself for Catch America Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I might just do yeah. that, yeah. Give me something to watch. <laughs> Not that I have got, I have got enough to watch already, so... We shall yeah. see. Yeah. So yeah, um, out of ten, probably give it an eight. Yeah. There is some post-credit scenes as well, so make sure you, if you go and watch it, stick around till the till the actual very end. And how many other? There's a, a post. There's a mid, mid-credit scene. There's an actual post-credit scene. One right at the end. Mm. Uh, but it's not like the, the credits aren't like Pirates Three, where it goes on for about half an hour. And you get a really dis- disappointing payoff. Good. I hate those long credits. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go and check it out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it. And so you should be. Yeah. No, I did. There was a, a uh, X Men Apocalypse trailer in there, which had new stuff in it, which oh, right. seems to have spoiled it a bit for me. I've seen the latest one at some big online with uh, Wolverine at the end. Yeah, that's the one I watched. But it was I was trying to stay ignorant, like I did with Star Wars. Yeah, like I didn't watch anything. I watched Try the first trailer. It. Yeah, and I didn't read any news or anything about it. But then I saw this trailer for Apocalypse today, and it was. Just, mm. <laughs> I'll still watch it, but I just I don't think it's going to be the best one. No. So, well, hopefully they'll. Amazing. Hopefully that'll be the last of the trilogy that they'll make of those. Films. I'm hoping so, but then give it two years and they'll be like, oh, look, we're back with another X Men film. Yeah, make it another new trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. I hope not, but that's, that's what I can see them doing, considering how much these are made. Yeah. Uh, yeah so then they've got all the other stuff they've got coming out over the next several years. Mm-hmm. Like Inhumans and. Oh, well, it's been taken off the calendar, hasn't it? Ant Man and Wasp, whatever it's called, there's. Another four film. There's the Avengers film, the next one. Guardians of the Black Galaxy. Panther, Guardians Two, Spider Man. Mm. So where, where could they fit it in again? That's true. It's just a busy schedule, isn't it? That's it. So is there a reason why they've taken Inhumans off? For no idea. But I'm guessing the sort of probably if either to do with I'm guessing they're sort of pacing themselves, or they've just sort of got enough on the plate already, and they've. Just sort of pulled it for now, and it where yeah. it'll come back later on. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'll do some digging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're on it. You're on it in the podcast. Yeah, I'll cut that out. Need to set that out. Hey, so it's another. Well, we're coming up to nearly to the end anyway. Yeah. So I don't know why we have, feel like breaking so late, but it's just the chance to try version. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got some fan mail. Yes. Finally, our Finally. first piece. Very first fan mail. fan mail. Maybe we should take, you know. It's not actually fan mail, it's more a box. Yeah. Um, as I think I mentioned on the last episode, Joe from Twitter sent this in. Well, Joe on Facebook from Twitter sent this in. Because uh, he, he has a thing he does called WWE he rest, he reviews wrestling figures. Yeah. So you can check him out on Twitter at WWE Figures UK, I think it's called, his Twitter oh, or something like that. I'll have a look. Um, it sent us a box, which is the one I said about him. It's, you see, it's not anthrax or food, so don't worry. Cool. And there's holes in the box, so I'm guessing there's not. <laughs> as he stabs the box, there's nothing. There's no blood, so we're all right. Or nothing illegal. <laughs> I'm open, not. So let's cut it open. Yeah, let's go. Don't forget, you can send us fan mail. 
we like yeah, email. email. That's uh, Lost Art of is it Lost Art Podcasting at gmail.com. Subject to fan mail. Uh, send us it on Facebook, send us it on Twitter at Lost Art Podcast. I'm trying to cut myself with this sharp knife. <laughs> always, in, always in adult super eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you alright? Doing good, nice doing good. Yourself, anyway. On my finger. <laughs> Oops. Plaster. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, send us feedback, send us opinions, topics, whatever. Our yeah. topics, well, rear topics or whatever. Uh, it's taken me a while to get into this box. I know, well packaged. It is. And. Oh, God, it's Anthrax! And there's a note with it as well. We've got, we've got a note. In a bottle. It's not a bottle, though. And it says Coxie, as you know, I review wrestling action figures, as I mentioned before. And I thought it'd be an really interesting challenge for you to open up and review this figure on a non-visual media. I also thought it'd be hit- interesting to hear your thoughts on Daniel Bryan, as he is a wrestler missed I missed out on. Enjoy and remember, take in on and play with it. <laughs> and that's from Joe, or aka Cunty Joe, on hmm. Breaking Bad Paper. Nice. So the man has taste. Another Breaking Bad fan. And he sent us, boys and girls, a WWE... Daniel Bryan Elite Collection figure. I don't know. Mm. Made in China. It's from Mattel Canada. Um, I don't really know how to review a figure. And I've not, to be honest, I'm not, I've only watched a couple of your videos, Joe, and I've listened to your audio things. Um. I don't even want to take it out of the box, really. No, it might be worth something in you know, years to come. Okay. It looks too nice as well to, yeah. to take out of the box. I can see points of articulation on it, and it's got some sort of robe with it. And he has a beard. Yeah. Uh, contents, one figure and accessory. <laughs> What's the accessory? It's, he's got, it's his jacket or robe or whatever it is. Oh, nice. It comes with it as well. Oh. So yeah, um, what's I want to say? Interesting to hear your thoughts on Daniel Bryan as he is a wrestler I missed out on. Um, Daniel Bryan, or Bryan Danielson, I saw him on the Indies, a bit of him on the Indies, thanks to the Wrestling Road Diaries from Colt Cabana, uh, before he went off to the, the Big E. Uh, very talented, unfortunately a neck injury, whatever it was, has his career short but hopefully like his mentor Shawn Michaels he'll be back in time over time even um, we'll just have to wait and see but yeah it's a very good figure I think I'll adorn it on my wall yeah stick it on the shelf or on the shelf yeah with the others collecting dust but uh, yeah it's I've not collect I don't collect figures anymore the only, I think the last figure I got was Jane Silent Bob <laughs> or Blunt, Blunt Man and Chronic or something we're still boxing on the wall <laughs> I think my last one was uh, Chucky and the Bride mm. but that's the last one I got because that's the thing I'm, I don't collect these vinyl pop figures because I think if oh, I got yeah. one I'd have to get more once you pop you can't stop yeah my wife <laughs> got me Sheldon actually Sheldon you got yeah. no Sheldon from Big there, should be, there should be a Sheldon pop figure <laughs> there might be one day if this podcast ever takes off oh yes <laughs> If you make us a pop figure, and we'll sign it for you. Maybe it could be our mascot. <laughs> we sort of growling at me then, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Play nice. Oh, there's also some else in the box. It's a. Uh... Oh, this is in the back. Sir Adam, Sir Adam of Cox, presenting to you the first ever UK wrestling figures business card. And then at the bottom it says one of one. <laughs> and if we turn it over, it's WWE Figs UK, which you can find. Excuse me. That's ukwrestlingfigs.com. Find them on Twitter at WWE UK Figs UK even. I'll say that again, WWE Figs UK. And then it says YouTube and Facebook. There we are, folks. Um, so, yeah, cheers, Joe, for sending that in. We'll get something sent your way very soon. Something, I don't know. Yeah. What should we send him? Sheldon? We'll box Sheldon up and send him. Well, we'll, we'll keep it a secret. <laughs> we'll think of something and we'll send we'll, something. We'll think of something and yeah. we'll send it over to you, Joe. Yeah, um, something so, that we like. Yeah, you know, for you to interest. review. Yeah, so that'd be yeah. We'll think of something and then 
We'll, we'll try and make up a figure or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can go horribly wrong. We'll, we'll find something. So, yeah. Uh, cheers, Joe. Right, now, on to the... We're going for chilly challenge. Yeah, the final part of the show. Well, we're coming up to the end of the show, so it's, we can only end on the high note for the chilly challenge. Um, it was, of course, uh, earlier, as I mentioned earlier, it was uh, chilly fest last week, and I picked up a bottle of Crazy Bastard sauce, which Gareth, in a bit of a hothead, is going to now try, as am I, again. Yeah, I'll let you go first. Do you mean you'll let me go first? It's my yeah. bloody sauce. I yeah. should be letting you go first. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a gentleman, so you can you be, Oh, you've been a gentleman. I'll, yeah. t- I'll let you go with it then first. Then. Oh, nice. Yeah. Smell that, listeners. Smell it. got smell of vision now. <laughs> I really hope someone's at home sniffing the laptop. <laughs> well, let's give it a shake first. So it can all filter around. Da, da, da. Don't forget, you can get this. I picked this up from the guys at. Uh, what are they called? It was Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper Sauce. You can find it a Facebook page. It's Crazy Bee Sauce. Because we're timing it. I just want to see how long I'm going to go over if I have to have the milk in front of me. Yeah, we'll time it. And we'll do it together. <laughs> that was ominous then. It just sort of bubbled and sank down back into the bottle. It's alright. So. Very... Fruity, would you say? It reminds me a bit of Frank in a way, but you can yeah. smell more heat in a sense. Um, this one's a habanero and tom- tomatillo. I don't know what that is, but it's. Uh, find it at crazybeesauce.com and there's a really angry looking Mexican on the phone. Yeah. Or angry eyes, even. We'll mess with him. We'll <laughs> mess with him, gringo. <laughs> right, I'm putting myself a spoonful of the crazy bastard sauce. Oh, I've got a massive dollop. <laughs> what? I'll fill it up. I'll swing it round a bit. There we go. Right, I'm also timing this as well. Because we're going to time it and see who can go the longest route of milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> right. Right. In three, two, one... <laughs> it's got a bit of a kick to it. It does. But there's flavour as well. Oh man. Right now let's try and do a podcast like this. <laughs> I'm, resi- maybe, I'm resisting the urge for milk. Maybe we should have done the Civil War review like this. <laughs> I don't think I could have done. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the crazy bastard sauce? I would like in the first 30 seconds. I would definitely buy a uh, bowl. Yeah. Mm. You wish you can buy it at crazy, crazybeesauce.com? Yeah. It's not as hot as I remember it from Saturday. Yeah. Now I've got burning on my tongue and at the very back of my throat. Yeah. Because it's flavourful as well, and now it's getting slightly hotter. It's coming through <laughs> your nose now? No. It's clearing the, the nose, actually. It normally does. Mm. I normally have, it, I have hot sauce if I'm cold. <laughs> Clears your right up. It's good. Yeah, I, I'm sure I had it the other day and it was tasting hotter. But. There's. Oh, yeah. I clearly do this without milk. Mm. I know it's going to sit there for a while though. <laughs> Actually, I could have another spoonful, really. I could, but I know it just get hotter and hotter. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to do that to myself. Well, it reminds me that chilli challenge we did. That's. Uh... Last Christmas was it? And uh, which one was that? Did you try it? We had all these. Oh, that was Halloween. Halloween, wasn't it? We it didn't really these. help though because those weren't those weren't like different very variants of hotness. They were just the same. It was the same sauce in different yeah. bottles for some reason. Yeah, we had this like <laughs> bit, like. Well, chili. There was Ass Blaster. It was one of them. Yeah, but then it had chili powder in it and. Is it West Indian pepper sauce? Is it hot pepper sauce? I think so, yeah. Right, we're on two minutes and five seconds and I'm still feeling the burn. I'm fine, actually. It's like kind of faded. <laughs> kind of faded? Yeah. I'm oh, you bastard. Disappointed with crazy bastard sauce? Yeah. 
Carbonara in there. It's really nice though. I think I'd marinate the chicken with it, definitely. <laughs> Oh, I'm going for the milk now. Oh, yeah. I really want some milk, but I, you know, I just don't need it. Oh, that's better. Mm. But it's still burning. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I think next time I'll have to try the uh, Grim Reaper habanero sauce and see if that's any hotter. Apparently, from what the guy told me, it is. Because mm. I tried them both when I was there. Uh, I'm sure last week when I had this one though, I had it on something at home. Mm. And it definitely seemed hotter. I can't wait to try it actually. <laughs> I was looking for something that had ghost pepper in it, but I thought, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> ghost pepper's nice. I need to try them in Cal Carolina Reaper. Mm. But this reminds me of the <laughs> There's a video I saw on, I think it's on YouTube once, this woman has this, uh, she has a habanero. And for some, I don't know why, she just bites into it and take, like, starts eating this habanero. Like, like it's something like it's bitten in, biting into an apple. Mm. But then she's filming a reaction and she's eating it. And it's gradually getting hotter and hotter in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and she's there freaking out. Right, we're on 340 and I can still feel it burning. It's faded away now for me. It's more the tip of my tongue though, the throat burns gone. Yeah. So there we go, well that's about two minutes before going for milk. Yeah. <laughs> but on the Grim Reaper, I'll still be able to a minute. I'll have to wait and see. Oh, he's gone for the milk. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to try the Grim Reaper. <laughs> You got you got the uh, ten minute burn next year. Mm. <laughs> I'll do that easily. Or God Slayer. Mm. Well, I think the funniest one I found was one the one called Ringstinger. Yeah, yeah I think it's a. Did you take a picture there? I took a picture because there was one called You Only Live Once. There was Ringstinger, and then another one next to it which I didn't get a picture of. But the Ringstinger has Trinidad Maruga scorpion chilies in it. Which apparently helped two million Scoville units in them. And the colour of it itself just looks very evil. Hello. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that this year. So. Oh, there's always next year when we oh, take yeah. on the challenge of the five, ten minute burn, or whatever it's called. Ten minute burn, yeah. Yeah. So, sip and milk the burning man. Mm. So, yeah, um. Anything you want to add? Um, Before we wrap up? No. I think no. that's it for me. That's it for you. I can't think of anything. Put that spot down. Put it in the spot. Could do a mixture of crazy bastard sauce and the. On the sauce. Yeah, and just put it all together and try it. Might be worth a challenge. Stir it apart. That'll be, that'll be prepped for next year. Yeah. The chilli challenge. So right folks, I think we're coming toward the end, well, coming to the end of the show. I can just about hear the music kicking in, mm -hmm. I think, in somewhere in the background. That cool music. <laughs> so um, for the last time of podcasting, I've been Coxie. I've been Gareth. You've been listening. Thank you very much. Thank you.